crew has ever been. Get in car, get in car, hold your baby right now. Oh, cannot possibly come from Taiwan alone. Why don't we have a look and you tell me what species you have? This blue shark. Okay. The blue shark is fortunately not yet endangered. When the owner takes him to the freezer, Steve can hardly believe his eyes. Some more species. This is all shark fin, huh? Hey, how much shark fin you got in here? <laughs> wow. You must be one of the bigger shark fin dealers in Taiwan, huh? Turning the corner, Steve sees the reality of the slaughter. This factory is processing sharks on an unbelievable scale. Frozen fins from all over the world are scraped clean, then boiled and filleted. Each year, a thousand tons pass through this factory. That's up to one million sharks. Mr. Chen takes Steve to the office to sort out business. One thing leaps out at Steve. On the wall is a picture of the port at Punta Arenas in Costa Rica. It's the port where the shark dealer Fabio Wang denied he dealt in illegal fins or even had any boats. It looks like Steve's found the Costa Rica connection. Steve is curious to learn if perhaps the owner knows Wang. I, 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 oh, you know him. Costa Rica, I know him. 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 How many boats does Fabio have? He told me he doesn't have boats anymore. I thought he was getting out of that. The owner wants to get down to business. Steve is astounded by the sample he's shown. That's a great white, right? CITES listed great white sharks are rare in Taiwanese waters. It means they're probably being caught abroad and imported illegally into Taiwan. Sorry. Steve wants to check the quality of the great whites and is led outside to an extraordinary stockpile. All of these are great white sharks? They don't take the time. You can actually count how many sharks because it's a dorsal fish. There's only one dorsal fin per shark. Each tray has about 40 or 50. So there's over a thousand great white sharks right there. This is an incredibly disturbing sight. By dealing so massively in an endangered species, this one company breaks every conservation rule there is. In the shark fin business, Mr. Chen is Mr. Big. The Mr. Big I've been looking for. I believe it's not only illegal, it's totally immoral. On the high seas, the big dealers are just sucking the oceans dry because it's very difficult to patrol an entire ocean. Mr. Biggs, like Chen, must be stopped. And although effective patrols and enforcement of international law may be a tall order, there is something we can do right now. Cut the demand. No demand? No market, no business. Just take shark fin soup off the menu.